Half Dome, Yosemite's most distinctive natural feature, presents a challenge to both serious climbers and day hikers alike. A technically trained rock climber will find dozens of routes that can lead them directly up this imposing northwest face, while a determined hiker can find their way to the summit using an exciting eight-mile trail that starts on the valley floor. Welcome to the land of the big trees. The Mariposa Grove in Yosemite is home to some of the biggest and oldest sequoias in the world. This tree is called the Grizzly Giant, and although its lightning trimmed top is only 209 feet tall, it is estimated to be over 2,700 years of age and one of the oldest sequoias in the world. Each one of these limbs could easily be its own tree. The Mariposa Grove is also home to the tallest tree in Yosemite, the Columbia tree, which measures in at 292 feet. But sequoias aren't just about age and size, and some of the most unique trees can be found here as well, like the clothespin tree, or the faithful couple, thought to be the oldest, happiest marriage in the world. Demonstrating true size isn't always easy to achieve when photographing the big trees, but sometimes when you can get an object like a person or an animal to appear in the picture, it helps to put their real grandeur into better perspective. Half Dome Cable Section One of the most exciting finishes of any hike in the United States, visitors pit their wills against this imposing obstacle by grabbing a pair of sweaty gloves from the base and proceeding step by step, hand over hand, up the rounded north face. Although the steep cables may appear quite intimidating, thousands of visitors accomplish the feat every year, some even with a fear of heights. A strong sense of determination is the only qualification, but fair weather is the biggest key to a safe and successful climb. The top of Half Dome is unlike any other place in the park. From here, you can see hundreds of identifiable features. And in case that isn't exciting enough, there's always a 4,000 foot cliff. Views from the top of Half Dome span far and wide, and from the V-shaped slopes of Tenaya Canyon to the sheer rock cliffs of Yosemite Valley, a visitor can start to comprehend the true vastness of the Yosemite wilderness. Over 600 feet tall and flowing year-round, Bridal Veil Fall would be a centerpiece in almost any other national park. But in Yosemite, it is but one of many magnificent waterfalls.
Bridal Veil is often the first major waterfall visitors see when entering Yosemite Valley, as its graceful ribbon of water is part of the world-famous tunnel view. beneath the majesty of the upper fall and just below the raging middle cascades. The lower fall of the Yosemite finishes the tallest waterfall system in North America with a tremendous crash. From a distance, Upper Yosemite Fall is one of the most peaceful sights in the park. But for those who choose to venture closer, a different experience awaits. Yeah, that upper Yosemite, I'm sure one peaceful waterfall. Nevada fall in the springtime is awesome. With a discharge of over 4,000 cubic feet of water per second, the entire Merced River is upended and slammed on a steeply sloped granite wall. At the top of the fall are several viewing points. From here you can follow the raging river along its path all the way to the brink of the fall, then to an amazing side view where you get an unforgettable view of the entire path of the falling water. of its combination of power, beauty, and accessibility, Nevada is one of the most celebrated waterfalls in all of Yosemite. 